wanted to come on to tell you guys a little bit about myself and my background, where I came from. Um, I was born in the Philippines in 1985, and I'm the youngest out of four girls. We're all about a year apart, and we came to the U.S. in 1989. We moved to California. Um, my mom and dad raised us out there, and it was a lot of like, you know, hand-me-down clothes and everything. We didn't come from money whatsoever. But they always like instilled like doing well with school, going to college, getting a career, making something for yourself, um, which led me to become a dental hygienist. And I still do that to this day, like on top of all the racing stuff. So I've been doing dental hygiene for 13 years now, and I still like it, scraping the teeth. But um, I met Kenny when, like, over 10 years ago. And he's the one that got me into this whole racing car circuit. I've always liked race cars and sports cars. I had a Corvette like before I met him. But um, when I moved here, he was like, hey, do you wanna learn how to drag race? And I said, yes, let's do it. Um, so basically, to sum it up, like growing up, we didn't have much. And, but we did have like a good, strong family support and it's just one of those things if you want something nice in life you just have to make sure you work for it go to school and try to just hustle through life and that's basically kind of like my journey with coming to where i am now so the whole thing that got me into sports cars and stuff like when i was 16 i bought my first car it was a 91 mazda miata and it was just the most affordable car and I knew stick shifts were more affordable so I was like, I'm gonna learn that. The Miata was like $2,000 and it's a two-seater and my friend actually had taught me how to drive it when I bought the car. I didn't know how to drive a stick shift and I was like, we're gonna learn, I'm gonna buy this car, I'm motivated, it's happening. So that was my journey with learning stick shifts and I really loved driving it. When I got older into my career, I bought a Corvette and that's when I was like, oh my gosh, these sports cars are so cool. And I went to SEMA and that's where I met Kenny. So we met and actually when we met, he didn't even really like me. <laughs> so um, I was working with him and he was like, oh, I was late for my first shift like working at with Joe Tech at SEMA and he's like oh these girls are party girls whatever and then when I saw him but he didn't know like I was already like a hygienist and I literally like had my was working like I don't know probably like a million days straight had to fly to Vegas to do the SEMA show and so I like even flew in my scrubs and everything but so he thought I was a party girl which I wasn't and when I saw him, he had like the glasses, all black, super serious, like RBF face. And I was like, oh, this guy is like boring <laughs> and probably doesn't like to have any fun. And um, over the years of working with each other, then that's when we're like, okay, maybe you're, there's more to you out there. And um, he did ask me to move to Texas from California. And that's when he's like, hey, do you want to learn how to race? And I'm like, yes, put me in coach. I don't wanna just keep watching y'all do it. So he actually is uh, a multiple NHRA champion. And <clears throat> so I learned literally everything I know about drag racing, like as far as the driving and everything through him. And it just kind of catapulted from there. And here we are with the lunatic car. <laughs> so the lunatic car was, not gonna be a lunatic car it it was kind of just like an accident because um, I have loved Hello Kitty San Rio all of these like fun you know girly things since I was like a little girl and um, I would see people at like Texas TK where their cars are wrapped like super like I don't know with all these crazy themes and I would bring up to Kenny like, hey, can I do like something girly with my GTR? And he's like, no, let's keep it on brand with Joe Tech, like aggressive, masculine, um, just like a mean looking car. 
And I'm like, okay, that's fine. So, so I did have like GCRs that looked like that and it was fine. And um, when we got the 50th anniversary, I was just talking to like one of the guys, like I wish we could do Hello Kitty. And he's like, well, you could do it <laughs> if you want. It's your car, you're the one making the payments on it and this and that and I'm like, I wish I could but I don't wanna get in trouble or whatever. And so, um, so they, the day, while they were building this car, it was just like plain white. And they got, they snuck Jay in from A to Z Raps and had him put all of these Hello Kitty things on it and didn't tell Kenny about it. And it was a surprise for me. And so this is when the guys were working like 24 seven, like on this car, on everybody's car. And so they were all like sleep deprived and Kenny comes in, the car has Hello Kitty and he's just like, screw it. He's defeated at this point. He's like just loaded up on the trailer. So I didn't even see the car until Texas 2K and I was like blown away. And it was literally the best surprise in the whole entire world. We didn't even expect to win. And that was like the race that I had my first win at Texas 2K. So everything was just like, it was just so cool. Like how it all like came together and um, never tested the car. The car won first place. Cars never had a crazy Hello Kitty wrap, and um, and here it is now. And we get like so much, um, I guess, like fan appreciation from it. Like everybody who sees the car is like smiling and having fun, and more women are more involved with it too, which is like the cherry on top. So I know, and it's such a cool car. It's, it's so beautiful. I was like, yes, I know. I was like, if we're gonna do it, make it super cool. Yeah. And it <laughs> So I don't know, so I like it. I love the car, I love how it's girly, yet it still has that aggressive performance. We did have some wins with this car, with the Rocky Mountain, Texas 2K, Race Wars, so like several events, it's done really well. Um, so the future plan, which any person's future plan would be, is to go faster. <laughs> so that's what we're doing, and that's what Seth is working on back there too. Um, we are putting the 10 point cage around it. We're sending it out to the chassis shop in a few days and we will monitor the journey of that for you guys. And we're rebuilding the engine, rebuilding the trans, putting more bigger turbos in. Um, so hopefully it'll be the consistent mid to high seven second class is what would be ideal, like consistent, because right now it's consistent like Ados. And um, when we do Rocky Mountain, we'll just like kind of turn it down, I guess, to like the 90, maybe 85 class too. The biggest motivation for me with having this car is not even like the winds or the press or whatever. It's the fans and the women and young girls coming up to me and just you know, expressing like how motivated they are and how much they like really want to start racing or how they love like how a woman is representing, um, you know, the car in this male dominated sport. And for those of you guys that do want to get involved and start racing in the future, I would just say to just Stay motivated, stay focused, um, work hard for everything that you guys have like with when it comes to racing, with the cars, take things seriously, like know all of the rules or whatever when it comes down to it, know your car, what's in it. Um, because, because it's a male dominated sport, you're not gonna get as much, I guess, appreciation or respect as like a man would. So it's, you can still, it's, I still have a lot of fun with it, but you just have to have like a thicker skin when it comes to it and just not let the negativity bog you down and um, change the way you think about like racing or, or even just like anything in life um, when it comes to that and just stay motivated and focused. So that's just a little bit about my story. And I just wanted to give you guys some insight on it. Um, 
because I know when we do our videos, it's always just like, hey guys, we're doing this, da da da. But I never really got to share like my personal story with how everything came about. So hopefully you guys um, like to listen to that, but. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Luna. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs>